it's so nice to be able to go into town and see somebody talk to and sit down and share just the pleasures of, of a small community. And I've always been interested in theater. I, my degree in college was in English and speech, and uh, I also directed plays when I was teaching. And the opportunity came up here in Madison to uh, work with community theater. Okay. Okay. Good. I whenever think you're ready. Uh, one of the I mean, you're best ready. things about line. public television is the eyes. tremendous drama. I'm as innocent as I can be. When you're watching a drama, whether it's a comedy or a tragedy or whatever it is, <laughs> if there's an interruption, you sort of lose your concentration. Okay. Because okay. it's public television, you get into it, okay. you can stay into it until it's finished. You've got the best seat in the house. Great performances on PBS. Coming soon, Don McLean, Starry Starry Night. Starry Starry Night. Portraits hung in empty halls. Garth Brooks and Nancy Griffith. Coming soon on PBS. See one of the all-time great ghost stories. Exxon Mobile Masterpiece Theater presents Henry James, The Turn of the Screw, next on PBS. Exxon Mobile Masterpiece Theater presents Colin Firth and Jody May in a classic ghost story from Henry James. The main condition of the job is that you will never trouble me. A young governess discovers a horrible truth. She's there! She's there, you unhappy little thing! I must protect my innocent babies. But just how innocent are they? I'm bad. When I want to be. The Turn of the Screw, tonight. <laughs> When he was 50 years old, Henry James suffered one of the worst humiliations a writer can endure. He was booed off stage on the opening night of a play thought would make his reputation as a playwright. He already had a well-established literary reputation, but this midlife failure as a playwright was psychologically devastating. His biographer, Leon Adele, believes it explains the spate of stories about children which James wrote over the next five years, that he was struggling to understand his own childhood. A few days after his nightmare evening in the theater, James took tea with the Archbishop of Canterbury, who told him of a ghost story he'd heard long ago. It involved two small children who'd been visited by the ghosts of a couple of dead servants with horrible intentions. James recorded this in his notebook. It was the tiny seed that was to grow three years later into one of his most popular tales. The turn of the screw begins as a ghost story, but its enduring grip on the mind comes from something more substantial than ectoplasm. Some modern critics believe it's actually about a very real case of sexual hysteria, perhaps, but there are other possibilities. Maybe it's about the corruption of innocent children after all, James was exploring his own childhood at this stage of his life. In any case, here he follows the novelist's classic rule, show, don't tell. Now, we'll do the same. The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. <laughs> 